Uh, hey YouTube, it's me, uh, Ultra Joey, and I'm going to be battling against Dr. Strawberry today. The expansion pass didn't come out too long ago, so, you know, I'm really excited to, you know, finally use these guys in the battle, because you can't really use them right now in the competitive scene because they're all banned, because nobody knows what they can do. So that's my team. Uh... So, the Inteleon set, you, well, you guys will see all the sets, but, you know, these are all pretty basic sets. Um, we have a special, a special, wait, wait, a special, a special, a physical, a physical, a physical, a special, so it's completely balanced. And, yeah, I finally learned how to EV train and IV train really well, so my team is actually really good. I'm really happy with it. So... All right, uh, we'll pick our teams. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Dr. Strawberry's team. I'll, so we have his Toxpex, his Pukumuku, and his Blastoise, all water types. Uh, and then his Whimsicott, he'll probably start with that, his Exodrill, and his Dragapult. So let me make my team, and then we'll start. All right, so I've chosen my team. He's probably gonna choose his in a second. Now, I predicted he's gonna start with Whimsicott, so I'm going Grimace Snarl anyways, like, I always start with Grimace Snarl because if it's going to be a user who could, like, taunt me or something, Grimace Snarl is there to kind of back me up. So, he has Taunt, Reflect, and Light Screen, that's why he has Light Clay. So, overall, Grimace Snarl is just really solid at what he does. So, he sets it to protection, and yeah, battle's going to start. So, as predicted, he starts with Whimsicott. So, I will start off with Taunt, and if I outspeed him, that's like the best case scenario, definitely. So, yeah, I'm just going to hope I do that. Uh, yeah, so now that he's been taunted, he, you know, can't attack as well. He is going to Moonblast, though, which is a little scary. Almost gets me. So I know most of his team is special attack. Like, that's kind of like the main thing his team does. So I'm going to start with... So light screen, that's the important one. Because his team kind of revolves around special attack. So... Now that I got the light screen set up, the special attack... All of his special attacking moves won't do too much. So... Yeah, you gotta start with that. Crits are gonna suck for me. So Galarian Slowbro, you can get really creative with him because lots of people do special sets, but this physical set is really fun and good to do. Uh, so you, I can just kind of start off with this shell side arm. I don't even have to protect yet. So yeah, as a poison and sidekick type, you have a lot of versatility. You can go for a lot of crazy plays. Hurricane, nice, but Slowbro is ridiculously defensive, although that will confuse. With my luck, I'm going to hit myself in confusion right now. Knew it. So, that's going to be fun to deal with, but you put the Black Sludge on and you're good. Uh, Regenerator is just overall an amazing ability, you know, so if Slowbro does start to go down, I'll be safe. So... You know, because the taunt was shaken off, uh, he can do what he wants now. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go shell side arm. That's gonna be nice. Uh, he, you know, he made me taunted. So now that's gonna be kind of annoying. A lot of people say quick draw, slow bro, special attack, choice specs, you know. And I just say, you know, use, use curse, make him bulky. Because he's meant to be slow. It's in the name. So quick draw isn't really the best meta in my opinion. I feel like you could do a lot better with a versatile set like his. Alright, so he goes for Excadrill. I know he's going to go for the Earthquake. So I'm going to have to get out of here. And, you know, because he's Earthquaking, I'm going to go... I don't know, I can't go Toadette. Ground is not really my favorite thing to go against. So. I don't know. T 
Toadette is pretty dang bulky. So I'm gonna go Toadette because Toadette will probably be able to take the hit the best. And let's see how well that does. High horsepower. Uh, you know, it's a life orb set too. That's pretty interesting. So, you know, you gotta deal with that. But this set is meant, as you can tell, it's, it's a pretty annoying set. So I'm gonna protect, you know, see what he get, tries to go for. Um, I doubt he's gonna set up with a life orb set. That would be pretty interesting. So, because uh, Dr. Strawberry has never, he, he doesn't have the expansion pass. He has no idea what it is. So he's kind of lost on a couple of these guys. So excuse if he, you know, uses Iron Head on uh, the Mushroom Boy. So, Spore, that should sleep him. Uh, Iron Head does a surprising amount of damage. Flinches me though. That's kind of a surprise. Well, not really. It's Iron Head, and yeah, so that's not really what I wanted. I don't think I can survive another one of those Iron Heads. So, gotta protect. Let the leftovers heal me up a bit. That's honestly just this whole set. You gotta let the leftovers do their job. Alright, so I'll just go for another Spore. And, you know, even if uh, Toadette dies, you know, yeah, like she just did, I have my failsafe, that being my Pultigeist. I know he's not going to be able to do anything against this. Actually, though, no, James Bond is going to be a little better, because I don't think many things are faster than James Bond. Now it has plus next to him because it's uh, my G-Max version of James Bond. And it's also just better in every single way. Yeah, this Inteleon is ridiculous. So, let's see what he can do against this. Because Inteleon's massive damage output is just really versatile, easy to use, you know. So, yeah, we'll just wait for him to go. So, he withdraws and goes for Toxapex. That's not fun. So, snipe the shot though. Decent damage. Not a crit, which, you know, if it's a crit, it just go down a, l a little bit more. So, you know, throw out that focus energy though. Because, you know, that definitely helps. Inteleon's whole thing is ideal critical hits better than everyone else in the game. Yeah, Inteleon's pretty much just another Kingdra. It's Kingdra, but better in every single way. Ugh, the Toxic, that's definitely annoying. Uh, Urshifu is gonna be really fun to use against Toxapex because it has access to Thunder Punch. So, and Urshifu is going to be legal in tournaments and stuff later on. So, yeah, th that's that. Uh, I'm gonna try Air Slash. It's probably, he's probably gonna go for a Baneful Bunker right now. Yep, trying to poison me out. Very annoying set he has here. Toxpex protects. He heals, and um, I'm going to be taking that poison damage. You know, it's Tog Specs isn't really the most fun thing to play against. Alright, so this Air Slash should be able to hit nicely. And, yep, deals that crit damage. Sniper doubles the power of crits, which is really nice. Now, even if he Baneful Bunkers this turn again, you know, I'm not really worried. Now, you gotta put Scope Lens on this Inteleon set, though, because without it, Inteleon can't function as well. So he goes for Baneful Bunker again. I can tell he's hoping, you know, he can stall me out a bit. 
But even if he gets me here, you know, with this toxic stall, I have my counters. You know. It's annoying, but, you know, you can push through. So I go for the air slash, and that is obviously a crit as always, but oh, look at, look at that elf. There's, there was nothing. And he recovers. Very annoying. This is why I don't like Toxapex. Ugh. You know, in retrospect, I don't know why I just didn't send out Slowbro first, you know? He's perfect against all of this. Even if he switches, this curse setup is gonna hurt. Uh, Regenerator is the reason Slowbro restored health outside of battle. You know, he heals a little bit of health every time he switches. So, really helps with the bulky physical set. Uh, I wonder if he knows it's poison. I mean, actually it's a little obvious it's a poison type, so. Goes for the recover, you know, understandable, but it does let me set up a nice curse. Now, Pikamuku against Slowbro, it's not really something that you'd want to do as well, so, you know, even if he does try to switch for his other stall, I'm okay with it. So, I think Zen Headbutt should be able to do quite a bit of damage. Scald will suck. That will suck. Oh my gosh. Scald is... Oh my gosh. But see, like, like, you can tell, like, if it does that much damage, like, that's a good move. I kinda wish, though, I had, I was allowed to have Chansey on my team, so I could, that's like the best Toxpex counter, Chansey. It's always going to be the best possible counter you can use against Toxpex. So, but, you know, you set up a couple curses, and the burn kinda becomes obsolete. Uh, burn just halves your overall attack, pretty much. Well, it kind of, it just decreases the power of moves. You know, that's, you know, although that does get pretty annoying, you know. He's gonna withdraw Toxapex, and he's gonna go... Excadrill. Oh. Ah. Oh, wow, that is... Ah, oh, just ridiculous. You can't do much against that. That burn. That burn sucks. So, I'm going, I'm going to have to switch Slowbro out. I don't really have too much of a choice. Kind of already wiped a lot of my team. Gosh. Yeah, Toxpex is just kind of overall one of my least favorite mons to battle against because it can do stuff like this. You know, it can wreck you. He's going to go for a ground type move, so I'm just going to send in Poltegeist and hope for the best. So he ended up switching in Blastoise, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think he was expecting a Cinderace switch. I'm not going to do that. So let's try this out. So he's also probably using a Shell Smash set, but this one is so much stronger. So much more versatile, you know. It just, you know, it kind of lacks that coverage. I think he's trying to freeze. Alright, so... I want to get that Focus Sash back, though. Because, you know... It's a Focus Sash. You kind of want that. So I'm just gonna go... For a Giga Drain. Because Poltergeist also has a 403 attack. That's nothing to laugh at. Gets... Yep, that's a sash. Um, so he was also going for a shell smash set. So he's gonna surf now. Again, doesn't really matter because I also have a sash. So Giga Drain was definitely the right way to go in the end. So I'll just use it again. Because even if he decides to switch out, you know, try and go for some jank. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, so he switches Blastoise and he goes Puku Muku. Very nice. I definitely take that. Again, Poltergeist 
already just has a really good special attack stat, so not really too concerned about too much. He does have leftovers though. Pukumuku is annoying, but you know, easily beatable. I feel like I made a lot of mistakes in this match though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to truly win. Because if he toxics me here and it hits, I'm kind of, yeah. I don't know, toxic, that's, that's gonna suck. So, yep. So I take out his Pukumuku, heal a little bit while doing it, which, you know, that's pretty nice. Uh, toxic just isn't gonna, you know. It does a little over time, but it definitely helps when you're healing while toxic, Toxic's going on. What kind of sucks is lots of my main counters for his team. Oh, three minutes left till bad lens. Really hope he doesn't timer stall me out. That suck. Um, Alright. The smartest move to go with here, definitely stored power. Because, you know, although I could... Because he's going to Baneful Bunker. But Giga Drain isn't going to do too much damage to a Toxapex. Right? But Stored Power is going to shred it through a Toxapex. So. Hoping. Hoping that. Yeah, this. Yeah, should be able to go straight through. Yep. So that Toxapex is out of the picture, you know. Worst comes to worst, I can, you know, uh, send in Cinderace with Librio. It's just so many types at once, you can't, it's kind of hard to deal with. I need the Greninja 2 as a joke, but I can't actually really rename it, which sucks. Alright, he sends an Excadrill. Uh, let's see. I'll suppose I'll just Giga Drain and hope for the best. And he used Protect. So I'm going for Pyro Ball right now. Uh, that should be able to do a good amount of stuff. I think he's going to try and go for a Scummy Timer Stall on me. Which would, you know, I don't know. Scummy trick, but it'll work. That, that, that trick will definitely work. So, yep. Just, you know, he's just waiting in it. Yeah, I, I think he just won the game. Oh my god. And so, with the double protect, that is GG. Because, you know, this is a viable strat, apparently. Wow, never even thought of just stalling out the timer. So uh, apparently I just lose. You know, that win did not like it, you know. I feel like he still could have beat me by actually playing the game. But, yeah, I guess GG. You know, I made a couple mistakes during that match. Kind of upset about how that, how we won, you know. It wasn't a fun win. It was kind of a painful win, but, you know... We take those. We, we He takes those, so. Alright, I suppose, you know, I'll just have to find a way to break through some of that stall, and until then, um, yep, that, that was this video. Toxapex is pretty annoying after all, so. Yeah, GG in the end, and see y'all.